Zaniness is a retrovirus that affects around 3% of the population. High-risk groups include artists and other creative practitioners. Symptoms of zaniness include being a polymath, having a short attention span, being a jack of all trades, and having to diversify one's practice constantly. Zany virus patients suffer a number of symptoms that affect behaviour within social and professional settings. Barry Zania reported symptoms in 1951 that we would now consider classic of zaniness. The formerly quiet and reserved Midwestern farm boy returned from Chicago to the countryside as an extrovert. Zania displayed symptoms commonly referred to as hypercharisma, buffoonery and jested performances that are loud, funny, gregarious and entertaining to others, but which simultaneously belie the desperation of the host in which the virus is living. The case of Barry Zania demonstrates how the zany virus transforms the host from the epitome of ironic cool into an individual that creates disasters out of the chaos of his own desperation. The virus transforms the zany sufferer into a polymath, a multitasker, an implementer, and most importantly, <laughs> famous zany sufferers include Norman Wisdom, Roadrunner, Lee Evans, Punch and Judy, Tom and Jerry, Lucille Ball, Richard Pryor, Madonna, Lady Gaga, David Bowie, Joan Rivers, Rotavio, Goofy, Woody Woodpecker, and Jim Carrey. Famous artist sufferers include Marvin Gaye Chetland, Eddie Peak, Grayson Perry, and Jordan Wolfson. Zany virus is spread between hosts via the eyes. Virus particles are released in the breath of an infected patient, and subsequently airborne particles are absorbed into the eyes and enter the bloodstream, spreading the virus rapidly between the verbose and the wide-eyed. The zany virus was first observed during the early 1950s in the United States of America in the city of Grand Rapids, Michigan. The virus infected a young artist who had grown up in a farming community and moved to Chicago to study painting and sculpture before returning to his hometown where he helped his father manage the family estate. On returning to the Apple Tree Estates in 1951, the young man, Barry Zania, displayed a significant transformation in behaviour. Over the following ten years, Barry Zania grew ever zanier and eventually succumbed to a debilitating bout of zanias in 1962 that hospitalised him and ultimately took his life. Zany scientists have hypothesized that Zania acquired the virus during his time living in Chicago. Virologists believe that the Zany virus mutated from an eccentric strain of picornavirus sometime in the late 19th century in North America. Moreover, recent studies have shown that before patient zero displayed symptoms, a community of bankers working in Chicago during the 1940s was carrying the virus. It is from this group that Zania may have contracted the virus while he was working as a hot dog salesman one summer to help support his income as an artist. For some reason, this group of bankers did not display symptoms of zaniness, but were able to transmit the virus to others nonetheless. A paper published in Nature in 2014 suggested that this group had developed immunity to the virus during the economic depression of the 1920s. Zany virus is spread most rapidly between those self-employed adults working in the so-called gig economy. For example, Uber drivers, delivery couriers, or Airbnb providers. I.e., those working on zero hours contracts, those working from home, or those offering flexible labour. The individual infected with zaniness, known as the zany, becomes adaptable, diverse, and good at role play. The zany is a service provider who does reproductive or immaterial labour, for example teaching or working in the information sector. Being infected with zany virus causes sufferers to be in constant search of a new job. Zany virus is thought to have emerged in the mid-19th century in California during the gold rush. 
The development of the railway across the United States, boat travel between the US and Europe, and an increase in plane travel during the 20th century are thought to have helped the virus mutate and find new pathways and vectors of infection. The Zani virus is a retrovirus that shares many genetic characteristics with HIV. Particles of the Zani virus measure 92 nanometers in diameter. The enveloped virus is spherical and contains a capsid that is cone-shaped. Each capsid is made up of 12 pentamers and 250 hexamers. However, unlike HIV, the capsid of zaniness contains one so-called triskelion strand of RNA that reverse transcribes itself into a triple helix. This triple helix is then inserted into the nuclear pore of the host cell where it overwhelms the host's DNA and programs it to produce new zany virus. The virus has spread rapidly across most Western countries, but in the past 5 to 10 years, it has also been reported in developing countries such as India and Brazil. Viral historians have traced the virus back to a medieval Italian strain of plague known colloquially as Zaniflu. Zaniflu took its name from the Commedia dell'arte character Zanni, a famous early sufferer of Zani virus. Zanni was an itinerant labourer that turned his hand to anything. Zanni, like his fellow Buffont clown Harlequin, was also a jester. It is now commonly agreed among those working in virology that Zani virus is linked to the emergence of capitalism, although why and how this works is still hotly debated among those in the field. One eminent virologist, Maureen Milne, has identified a link between zany virus and impotence, proving that zaniness reinforces social boundaries and is characterised by spontaneous goalless Taxi. play. Others have observed that chronic zaniness leads to an oscillation between roles, a merging of cultural performance and professional performance until they become indistinguishable from one another, an ambiguous intersection between labour and play, and the emergence since the 1980s of events culture, known as temporary role play. Fatal zaniness is now rather rare in the West. However, mortality rates attributed to late diagnosed zany infection have been reported as increasing in countries such as South Korea, Japan, and the former Soviet Union. After returning from Chicago, Barry Zania lurched from job to job, schooling himself variously in a range of professions that included hot dog salesmanship, dog grooming, and milkshake chemistry. A group at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign is currently studying the factors contributing to transmission of the Zany virus and why symptoms display in certain hosts but not in others. Despite several decades of research into Zani virus, there is currently no cure. During the 1990s, rates of transmission were recorded as falling. However, after the financial crash of 2008, rates began rising again and are currently at a historic high, especially among young people aged between 13 and 28. This group is considered particularly vulnerable to infection by Zani virus due to their use of smartphones, their love of reality TV, and their propensity to work from home. Zaniness health professionals refer to this group as potential zany hosts, PZHs, pronounced pizzas. Zany virus can most easily be transmitted in spaces that allow for elastic relations between the social and the personal.